Hello and welcome to our demo focused on motor control block set. This is a new product that we shipped and released 2020 with the capabilities that you see here. To understand them, let's look at the simplified diagram of the workflow for developing embedded motor control software. There are steps of spinning the motor in open loop, calibrating sensors, estimating motor parameters to create an accurate plant model, designing the FOC algorithm and tuning the gains, running closed loop simulations to verify performance of the algorithm, and then finally generating code and validating on hardware. Motor control block set provides control blocks that you can use to spin the motor open loop or closed loop. Blocks are optimized for generating efficient code. It provides capabilities and examples for calibrating the current sensor, ADCs, whole sensor and quadrature encoder offsets. The product provides parameter estimation tool for estimating motor parameters and the blocks to model the linear motor dynamics and average value inverter dynamics. It also provides blocks for decoding sensors or implementing sensorless observers and blocks for computing all the loop gains or, or doing this empirically. It also provides utilities for uh, debugging and visualizing the uh, target application using the, uh, the host model. So let's look at a few capabilities. First, I'd like to show how parameter estimation works. With parameter estimation, you use instrumented tests that we supply that run on the target, and you use the host model to start and control parameter estimation. On the host model, you specify nominal voltage, current, and speed, number of pole pairs, the input DC voltage, and the position sensor offset. You then go to the target model that contains instrumented tests and generate code and deploy this code to the target microcontroller. When the code is generated, you can start parameter estimation from the host model. You can start the execution of the host model and this starts running instrumented tests that estimate state resistance, LD, LQ. To do that, we do frequency injection, and then we estimate back AMF, motor inertia, and friction constant. We can save these parameters and use them to develop an accurate plant model and also to tune loop gains. You can use provided blocks such as PI controllers, Park, Clark, Space Vector Generator, and the sine cosine lookup table implementation to develop your field oriented control algorithm. There are also blocks provided to decode the sensors and to implement sensorless observers. Once the model is created, like here, you can run closed loop simulation. And you can model the plant using two different ways, as we will see here. In one, in one run, we model the plant using switching dynamics in the inverter, using some scape electrical. In the second run, we use average value inverter block from motor control block set. Once the simulation results are available, we can look at them in the data inspector. We can see good step tracking. We can also look at the IQ, phase A, voltage and current that the motor sees and the modulation waveforms. So we can model at different levels of fidelity using average value inverter model of switching, and we can run any test scenarios here to verify our design and simulation before we deploy through generating code. So for deployment, we can generate code from the same model that we use for simulation and we can generate floating and fixed point code, and we can use the host model to control and debug our target application. And this lets us validate our design on hardware. So here's our reference example. You can see that we run the current loop at 50 microseconds and the speed loop at 500 micros. Uh, labels on the signal lines show that we will be generating fixed point code. So you can start the code generation process 
you do that after we simulated the model with different test scenarios and verified that our algorithm works as expected. This model is set up so that you can use the same model to simulate and to generate code. And this is just one of many reference examples that the product provides. You generate about 3,000 lines of code here to implement our field-oriented control algorithm. And then we open the host model. The host model has utilities that let us communicate to the target application running on the embedded microcontroller and plot the signals from the target application at 50 microseconds in the scope that we see on the right. So we start the execution of the host model and we turn the motor on using the graphical switch and simulink. And we can look at the speed loop performance. Using the knob, we can change the reference speed. We can test our controller by doing a series of small steps. And again, the data is coming in from the target application at 50 microseconds. We can do small transients and big transients. And in addition to looking at the speed response, we can also look at ID, IQ, reference and feedback. We can look at phase currents and really any other signals from the target applications that we're interested in. So this is how we can quickly go from a simulation model to validating our design on hardware. In summary, with the capabilities that we discussed here, motor control block set simplifies the workflow of developing embedded motor control algorithms.